this is Billboard and you should know me to Vestike. I grew up in Umeå, which is a city in Sweden. My first job was this job. I've never really done anything else. <laughs> About Swedish Idol, I don't know if, if people know this, but sometimes with talent shows, they kind of like call people or like typecast people. So they got a tip, like an anonymous tip about me. So they called me and they were like, hey, don't you want to come be on this show? And I was like, okay, I could try that. And then I like did it. Being on a show like that was pretty special because I was so young. I was just 16 when I was on there, which is a little baby, baby, baby. But it was fun. I mean, I got a record deal out of it and I ended up working with really good people that I still work with and like. So it like turned out pretty great for me. The best part about touring with Lord was like, like what was not the best part? Like, I feel like that whole thing was, Seriously, that tour was one of the best things I've ever done in my life. I had so much fun. After that, my like drive is like triple, double, like million, so much more. When I found out that I was going on tour with Katy Perry, um, I, I got an email with that as like the subject line. I was like, this is spam. So I called my manager and he was like, yeah, yeah, it's no, it's like, yeah, you, she wants you to, to open for her. And I was like, say yes, now, now, now. I would like somebody cute and hot to play me in a movie about me. I think the movie would be called Stupid Sexy Cool, could be it. <laughs> I make stupid things, but they're also kind of cool. And it's nice when things are a little bit sassy. Right now, I would love to collaborate with Doja Cat. I'm singing that Moo song all the time. I'm obsessed. And people are like, what? What are you singing? That's stupid. I'm like, no, it's the best thing. Doja, if you see this, you and I, you and me, we could have some fun. The most inspiring things for me musically is just when I feel like people had, like they made something that feels different than other things. For instance, when Post Malone came around, I was obsessed with him because it was a mix of so many things. Like he feels kind of country and still there's like the trap thing going on. And then there's a chord progression that's like, where did this come from? Anybody who does things like that, that, that really inspires me. Say My Name was one of those songs that came together quite easily, actually. We came up with like that um, lyric in the chorus and we felt so smart and then we just felt it from there. <laughs> so that's basically it. If you, if, you, if you like good pop, you like my album. Just stream it, buy it, listen to it. Come on. Wear it out like a sweater.